The Death of Marat The Death of Marat was painted by Jack Louis David during the French Revolution when it is on its peak of violence. He is a well-known French painter in neoclassical style. His artworks reflect his sympathy for the revolution. The style of his paintings is simple but really powerful. As an influential person, he uses his artworks to speak against the monarchy in behalf of the citizens. And because of that reason, he was once called the ferocious terrorist. The death of Marat was made by David for his friend Marat who was assassinated by Charlotte Corday. On the 13th of July, 1793, she entered Marat's house with the false reason of presenting him a list of people who should be executed as enemies of France. After Marat thanked her, she immediately stabbed him fatally. He died in his bathtub, writing. David prepared an unusual funeral for him by submerging his body in the bathtub during the procession. It is the most painting of David and has been called the Pieta of the Revolution. As he presented the painting to the convention, he asserted that he was called by the people to voice out their desolation. Both Marat and David were immortalized in the French Revolution because of the painting. It emphasizes the artist's strong belief directly reflecting his works. The importance of the painting is that it reminds its viewers the great dedication of the artists, how they manifest their assertions using a canvas and a brush. In the case of David, the painting was created with simplicity. It appeared really powerful as it speaks to its viewers the grievance, not only of him, but also the citizens during the French Revolution. The Death of Marat is a neoclassical painting evidently because of its elements, which resembles the paintings of the classical period. Furthermore, the philosophy under the neoclassicism period, which is the Age of Enlightenment, has been represented in a way that it opens the eyes of its viewers about the artist's conviction and strong emotion veiled inside realistic elements. What's fascinating with the work is that Marat still writes even though he bleeds to death, which in my opinion, signifies the dedication and passion of Mara as a political journalist upholding integrity and love for his country until his very last breath. John August Dominic Angres is a French neoclassical painter and one of the major portrait painters of the 19th century. Studying under Jacques Louis David for four years, Angers developed a neoclassical approach that changed little as his career unfolded. In 1813-1814, in Rome he painted his popular La Grande Odalisque. This picture was commissioned by the Queen of Naples, Queen Caroline Murat, who is known as the Polding Sister. The woman lying on a divan is offering herself because she is nude and turns her face towards us. The painting title, which means harem woman, and the accessories around her conjure up the sensuous orient. The idea of the harem, which is available or exploited women trapped in their own closed world, was as much proof of the fallen or primitive state of the East as was its supposed savagery, but it was also infinitely titillating. Delacroix was already the recognized leader of the Romantic school in French painting when his masterpiece, Liberty Leading the People, came in 1830. The painting portrays the memorial of the 1830 revolution on the street of Paris against King Charles X of France. Also, it illustrates a lady who is believed the metaphor of goddess of liberty, guides the people over the bodies of the fallen while holding a bayonet and the flag of French Revolution, which signifies liberty, fraternity, and equality. Indeed, the political message of the power of the people to overthrow a government is seen clearly through the painting. Delacroix turned down the importance and strict drawing that characterized the academic art of his time and instead gave a new eminence to freely brushed color. The subject and technique of liberty leading the people 
emphasizes the dissimilarity between the Romantic approach and the neoclassical style. The painting was first exhibited on 1831 at the official salon, the greatest annual art event in the Western world during 1748 to 1890. Eudor Gercoult was born on September 26, 1791 in Rouen, France, when and where French Revolution was already happening. Being a horseman, Gercoult learned to paint something in motion which includes animal movement and military subjects, two of which are his famous artworks The Charging Chazur and The Rough of the Medusa. Gercoult obtained his style in color from the Flemish Baroque painter Peter Paul Rubens, this style includes the use of somber colors, not so lively but emotional colors such as the shades of brown, black, and white. Rough of the Medusa's story was about a vessel leaving the coast of Senegal. Then the vessel was hit by a storm. The captain asked a carpenter aboard to build a raft and transfer all the 150 crew there and they will be towed. But after the captain realized that it is almost impossible to survive, he cut the rope connecting the two. The painting shows both hope in the middle of the grief and also hopelessness. The act was that the people in the raft saw a rescue boat. Those that waved their clothes in hope to be saved, even though it almost impossible to be seen due to the distance, represents hope, while those that continued mourning indicates hopelessness. The painting embodied romanticism by showing a connection between man and nature, by projecting exaggeration in the form of muscular bodies which emphasized the importance of imagination, and by showing strong senses, emotions, and feelings. Honoré Victorino Domier was a talented painter and a sculptor, but his fame ultimately rests on his prodigious output of some 4,000 quick-witted caricatures produced between 1830 and 1872, a period spanning momentous political and social upheaval in France. The mere set the standard for graphic satire. The emotional power from the vulnerability of the exposed human form can be seen in this painting. It depicts an event following the violent repression of a riot in Paris on April 15, 1834, during which a police officer was shot by a sniper. The police retaliated by massacring men, women, and children with abandon. The painting, The Routers Nona, was designed for the subscription publication La Association Monswell, whose profits promoted freedom of the press and the paid legal costs of lawsuits against a satirical, politically progressive journal, Le Charivari, to which Domier contributed regularly.